Sometimes you see insects that you know are harmless. You can be near them without the least fear for your safety. But for many of you, the same cannot be said of arachnids. These misunderstood animals are all too often slain on sight. Only a tiny fraction of arachnid species can actually hurt people. Currently, there are 11 different kinds of arachnids, and we'll start with what they all have in common. This is Jessica, a generalized arachnid. Her body is divided into two parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen, or prosoma and opisthosoma. Atop the cephalothorax is a rigid dome called a carapace. Various transparent spots in the dome can function as eyes, or ocelli. Emerging from underneath the cephalic plate are four pairs of legs. Near her mouth are two pairs of appendages called the pedipalps and the chelicerae. All locomotion and sensory correlation occurs in the cephalothorax. The segmented armored abdomen contains organs for respiration, circulation, digestion, and reproduction. A dorsal heart pumps hemolymph. Below that is the intestine, and the gonads are on the bottom. On the underside, she has a rigid sternum, a genital pore, and various openings that allow air into high surface area gas exchange organs. The different groups of arachnids are called orders. Each of them has Jessica's basic set of limbs and plates, with variations. Scorpions have pedipalps modified into pinching claws and a venom-filled stinger on the tail. They have unique sensory organs called pectines on the ventral abdomen. Sulfugids, also called camel spiders, have long pedipalps tipped with glue-secreting glands. Their chelicerae are extremely robust, clamping and scissoring prey. Sulfugids also have an unusual set of sensory devices on the underside of one pair of legs, called racket organs. Pseudoscorpions are typically smaller than mosquitoes. They have venomous pinchers at the ends of their pedipalps. Some species spin silk. Opilionids, or harvest men, have a compact cephalothorax and abdomen, often with armor plates extending backwards. A central tubercle contains the eyes. Their legs are usually long and thin, with one antenniform pair. Vinegaroons, or whip scorpions, have thick pedipalps for crushing prey. At the base of the tail are glands producing concentrated acetic acid, which the animal can spray with perfect aim. Amblypigids, or tailless whip scorpions, have one extremely long pair of antenniform legs and long pedipalps covered with hooks and spikes. Schizomids, or short-tailed whip scorpions, are usually shorter than the width of a pencil. Their hind legs are built for hopping. They get their name from the split center of the dorsal armor into separate plates called peltidia. Palpigrades, or micro-whip scorpions, have hair-covered tails that are essentially ears, in that they detect air movements. These arachnids use their pedipalps for walking, and have one antenniform pair of sensory legs. Spiders have chelicerae tipped with venomous fangs. The pedipalps of the males have evolved to serve a reproductive function, and are consequently very diverse. Spiders have mostly lost the ancestral abdominal segmentation, but it is often evident in pigment patterns. At the end of the abdomen are silk-producing spinnerets. Akari, mites and ticks, are the most successful and diverse group of arachnids. They range in size from a fraction of a millimeter to a centimeter or so. They only have one body segment, and some of them are so small that they don't have a heart. Ticks have fused tube-like chelicerae tipped with a bladed rasping tool. Ricinulae, or hooded tick spiders, are heavily shielded and have a movable armor hood called a cuculus that folds down over the eyes and chelicerae. There are also a few extinct orders, but you're unlikely to come across one. Arachnids are unjustly condemned as dangerous, even though less than one species in a thousand is capable of hurting a person. Most arachnids are not even a nuisance. Unfortunately, they are rarely spared by poorly informed humans. Next time you see one, be calm and mindful. Thank you. Are you one of these, but you want to be one of these? Then check out this video about ticks.